Dog Works Radio is sponsored by Alaska Dog Works. Check out their website at alaskadogworks.com. This episode of the podcast is brought to you by First Paw Coffee Company, specializing in private label premium blend coffee. If you're serious about coffee, you should check it out. First Paw Coffee's passion is high quality, small batch roasted coffee. They take the extra time to taste and get everything perfect before they release new blends. They aim to bring you a cup of happiness each time you pour yourself some coffee. Find out more at ak.dog slash free and enter for a chance to win some First Paw Coffee prizes, a book from our collection and tote bag. One winner will be selected at random each month. That's ak.dog slash free. From First Paw Media, sponsored by First Paw Coffee Company, this is the Dog Driver Show. Visit our website at dogworksradio.com. Now here are your hosts, Robert Forto and Kurosh Parto. Hello and welcome everybody. This is Robert and I'm here with my co-host KP. And today we have another of the Learguard fam- family, Rania and Yilva, calling in from Norway. KP, how's it going? Oh, uh, excellent. Uh, days are getting shorter and shorter. Um, and uh, uh, pretty soon we're going to have uh, uh, the race season in full blast. Uh, we had the opportunity to chat with uh, Roger Ligard, um last week and uh now uh we have the new generation of the legard family the uh team legard uh family uh uh Rania and Ilva both uh granddaughters of Roger uh they've been in the sled dog sport uh since they were kids and uh they are racing at the uh, top level of uh European and world uh field uh in the uh in the sprint class uh, and uh, here today we are uh, uh, talking to them, introducing them, and um, learning about their background. Um, girls, how are you guys doing? Very good. Rania, why don't you give me a little bit of, uh, about yourself, your background, who you are, so our listeners, they can get familiar with you. Yeah. My name is Rania Ligard. I'm 20 years old. Uh, I have eight dogs. Where two of them uh, are puppies, uh, about four and five months. Uh, I mostly drive six dogs sled, and uh, a little bit dry land six dogs and four dogs. Um, and um, a little bit ski ski uh, jury. So. Um, Ilva, what about you? Tell me uh, about uh, your background uh, and how long you've been racing. Um, my name is Ilva Ligar. Um, I have raced in four years, I think. I have uh, six dogs, uh, one puppy. And uh, I have competed in a little different uh, grades, but this is my first year of senior. And I... I'm driving for M6 dogs. I have uh, done a little bit ski touring, but uh, I like uh, sled and uh, rig better. <laughs> Very good. Rania, uh, you said uh, you've been uh, racing in the six dog cl- class. How did you start uh, in the sled dog sport? <sighs> good question. Um, Yeah, we start, like Roger said uh, earlier, that um, we got one dog, and then we got four, and then uh, I tried sled, and uh, it was fun, so we keep going with the sled. It's much funnier than when it's six dogs, and it's fast, and it's exciting. Uh, Rania, do you do uh, all your training yourself or uh, you share dogs with your sister, Yilva, and you uh, uh, share trainings together? Uh, no, we have... Um, I have my dogs and Yilva have uh, her dogs. Uh, but uh, this year I am in uh, the Norwegian Air, Air Force. So uh, this year my dad's uh, trained them a little bit and my sister is... Uh, 
taking uh, the best of my dogs. So she uh, gets a quite good team. Very good. Yilvat, uh, you said that you've been uh, racing uh, as a senior uh, first year this year. Is that correct? And uh, what do you think it's going to be the difference racing uh, as a junior among uh, people of, uh, you know, your age and younger and uh, suddenly coming to the adult races and racing with people or against people with uh, older than you, sometimes with more experience than you? Uh, I think the biggest difference is how many uh, competi competitors I have. Uh, in junior, it's not so many, but in senior, it's quite many, and it's people there who have uh, drive or trained dogs in very many years and more years than I have done. So I have uh, a lot more to take off in the adult classes. Very good, very good. Uh, Bronya, uh, you mentioned uh, the, this year you are uh, in the Air Force and uh, your dad and your sister, they will be uh, training your dogs most probably and uh, Ilva is going to be picking up uh, uh, the best dogs as uh, the main, I guess, racer. Do you give her advices uh, growing up together, your older sister? Do you give her, you know, do this and do that with this dog? Yeah, we train together and uh, give it talk together what we could do better but uh, of course we are competition uh, comp comp competitors uh, also but uh, we stay uh, cool and uh, have fun together and uh, we uh, yeah yeah we, uh, we uh, work together and uh, be good back both of us very good um Ilva, uh the training, uh, we talked about training, you guys, you train together. Um, w tell us a little bit about your training schedule. How do you train and how often do you train and where do you train? Um, I'm so lucky to live a place where I have uh, uh, training roads uh, um, at, in my home, uh, outside my door. So uh, I used to train... Uh, yeah, like uh, six or eight dogs um, in in front of uh, a cart often, and then I'm training uh, both. Harder, uh, uh, Easy and uh, hard. So, um, but uh, sometimes I'm uh, doing skis and. Uh, kick bike and bike and that stuff but uh, I'm uh, much often uh, training uh, my whole team together. So um, how often uh, do you train uh, during the week? Um, I'm trying to train like three days on and one free day uh, during the whole season but uh, sometimes we can train five days uh, and then take some days off but uh, like five days a week maybe so you definitely train uh, uh, more often than some of the other uh, uh, bigger team um, that I've seen uh, Rania when you train uh, when you trained your dog teams before you joined the Air Force uh, did you mix your dogs with your sister or you trained your dogs and she trained her dogs and you just watched each other Sometimes we mix, sometimes uh, we train alone, just to see who's, yeah, and just to see how it goes, and uh, it's good training for uh, the dogs and uh, us, and it's more fun to train together sometimes. Rania, Rania, I would like to ask a, a couple of questions about the Air Force, if I could. Uh, first off, is it a requirement in Norway that folks join the Air Force? I know it is in, in Britain and other areas. Is it a requirement there? Um, every, I don't have to uh, come in if I really don't want to. But um, if you're a good trained and I know... Uh, hurts in the, but on your body, so you have to go in. 
Okay, good, good. So uh, one follow-up question to that. Do you take anything that you've learned uh, being in dog sports as a dog driver and equate it to what you're learning or what you do in your daily uh, affairs in the in the Air Force? Yeah, I'm in the, in the dog team in the Norwegian Air Force too. So uh, oh. it's a lot of dogs. So I have... Uh, it's used a lot of uh, dog experience, yes. Okay, well, let's keep going with that, and we don't want to leave your sister there for too long, but tell us about the uh, the Norwegian uh, Air Force uh, and their and their dogs there. What do you do with them, and what are their roles? Um, most of all, I um, take them out of some uh, trip um, and take care of them. As sled dogs, as sled dogs, or as as military dogs? It's military dogs. So, so with with um, on sleds or like uh, you know like explosive dogs or something like that. Yeah, I'm mostly walking with them, and then it's um, so others that trains them, but uh, they're uh, trained to find people and s- scare people mostly. <laughs> okay. Very good. Thank you. Go ahead, KP. Uh, Ilva, uh, uh, you guys, uh, both you uh, ladies, you've done uh, big races and championships and uh, participated in a lot of uh, big European Norwegian championships. Um, what are your uh, biggest achievements? For me, it's um, World Championship uh, in France this year, in this winter where I, uh, uh, after the first day, I lay on the second place. And then uh, the uh, second day, I um, got some problems and some sick, sick dogs. So I learned a lot on uh, read the dogs, take care, and have fun and do, do our best. Yeah, definitely. Um, Yilva, being a Ligard and being the granddaughter of Roger, who has won so many races and is very well known in the world of sled dogs, is it a lot of pressure to be able to prove uh, your sled dog team? Um, no, I, I just think it's funny because when we came into the sport, we came in so fast because we learn so f- much faster than a normal person would done. Mm, and we, when we started, we got uh, a really, really good uh, uh, leading dog, and we uh, got uh, also another leading dog from uh, Hjertil Hillestad. So from the start, we got really, really good, good dogs when we was uh, getting um, puppies on them. Um, and then my grandfather uh, was learning us really much things and which dog we should choose and how he was going to train. And he knows which uh, sled we were going to have because it was best. And yeah, we. I think it's just like it's positive to have one that uh, has so much experience from uh, um, older. <laughs> earlier. Uh, Ilva, you mentioned uh, that uh, you had some puppies. Rania, um, I know that uh, through Facebook uh, we've uh, talked a little bit uh, in social media uh, privately about the uh, pups that you have and the breeding uh, that you have, which are actually very interesting because uh, these ladies, they're running short sprint and instead of uh, having some of the typical, you know, this bulky, big uh, uh, German Shore Pointers or high hound percentage uh, dogs. They went with uh, a mixture of uh, uh, a style of dog which can be used in four dog scooter, eight dog open probably. Uh, Who made the selection of this breeding? Was it you ladies or was a combination of Grandpa, you, Ilva and Maren? We were we were uh, very lucky uh, of 
the first puppy, uh, puppies we got from uh, Tom and uh, Robin from um, Sid Hildestad and Dagmar Kregler. We were very, really, really lucky with them. So now we got um, seven puppies, I think, from that uh, litter. And um, they are the best. They, no, <laughs> cannot explain them. They are just so fantastic. fantastic. Um, who made the selection of uh, this breeding? Was it Roger or was you ladies? A combination. But uh, grandfather uh, uh, Roger um, <laughs> was uh, a hybrid. A hybrid, okay. Uh, Yelva, you um, do also some uh, dry land racing or you stay on the sled or on skis all the time? Um, I uh, like dry land the most, actually. Uh, in the Norwegian Championship, I won both the four dog and the six dog class. So I went to uh, the World Championship in Sweden this, uh, uh, this year and then I uh, got... Um, silver medal in the six dog class so uh, i'm on the way up to uh, six dog class in uh, Ilva, uh, uh, racing uh, on dry land and also on sled um which one is faster in your opinion are you going faster on a cart with a four or six dog team or on a sled with a four and six dog team um i think it's going faster uh on the cart um I don't know if it really does, but it feels like it because it feels more dangerous to have six dogs in front of a cart than a sled. It's interesting. Rania, uh, your sister just mentioned uh, feeling more dangerous on cart. Uh, do you also dry land race and uh, do you also think it's dangerous? <laughs> uh, yeah, I drive a little bit dry land. And this year I haven't uh, drive anything, <laughs> um, but um, next year I uh, will try six dogs rig. Yeah. So, ladies, I have a question that I always ask all of our guests, and I would like to hear both of your answers. And we'll go with Rania first. The question is: If somebody's getting involved with with dog sports for the first time. What advice would you give that person if they asked you? Oh, uh, get a good dog and ask good uh, drivers in uh, sprint, middle distance or long distance. Uh, it's uh, what you want to to start with. Uh, but uh, get a good dog, a leading dog. Uh, and talk, ask good, good peoples. Very good. How about uh, Yilva? How, wh what is your advice? Mm, just start with where you are able to and just do what you think is funny and do the distance you think is funny and uh, be with other with the same interests and join the small competitions and just do what you think is funny very good uh kp anything else before we go before i let the ladies go uh, i wanted to ask what is your plan what are your plans uh uh the upcoming year and also a long-term goal that both of you have i want to ask both rania and ilva the same question rania the uh, main goal is uh, world championship you uh, uh, european championship uh, every year and uh, be a top five maybe um, first place is the main goal what about you Yilva? Um, my goal this winter is to get qualified to the European Championship in Sweden uh, but uh, my biggest goal is uh, to next year in Dryland to uh, uh, win the six dog class and don't just take silver. Very good, very good, ladies. Uh, I thank you so much for spending the last 30 minutes with us. Uh, wish you both uh, good luck for your training season and your racing season in Norway, around uh, Scandinavia and Europe. 
and uh, I hope uh, we're going to have the uh, World Championship here uh, in Alaska uh, soon and uh, see both of you uh, uh, on our trails here in Alaska. I'm, I'm sure you're going to do uh, fantastic. Uh, good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. On behalf of our guests today, Rania and Yova Liergaard, this is Robert Forto for The Dog Driver. We'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. This episode of the podcast is sponsored by First Paw Coffee Company. Learn more at firstpaw.coffee. From First Paw Media, this is The Dog Driver Show. We hope you enjoyed this podcast, and we invite you to subscribe in Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or wherever you get your podcasts. You'll find a link on the episode notes. You can tap or swipe on the episode cover art, and you can see some offers from our sponsors. You can support our show by supporting them. If you like what you have heard, we would love it if you could give us a five-star rating and tell your friends how to subscribe, too. Your hosts are Robert Forto and Kurosh Parto. Our producer is Robert Forto and created for First Paw Media.